Let's be bold. Let's be bold like Paul and Barnabas. Let's share the good news of Jesus. Share with them, share with people in our lives, even if they resist, even if they reject. It doesn't matter. Move on to somebody else. This is Acts 13, 44 through 52. The following Sabbath, almost the whole town assembled to hear the word of the Lord. But when the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and began to contradict what Paul was saying and insulted him. Paul and Barnabas boldly replied, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first, since you rejected it and judge yourselves unworthy of eternal life, we are turning to the Gentiles. For this is what the Lord has commanded us. I have made you a light for the Gentiles to bring salvation to the ends of the earth. That was a quote from Isaiah 49, 6. And it goes on to say, When the Gentiles heard this, they rejoiced and honored the word of the Lord. And all who had been appointed to eternal life believed. The word of the Lord spread throughout the whole region, but the Jews incited and the prominent God-fearing women and the leading men of the city. They stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their district. But Paul and Barnabas shook the dust off their feet against them and went to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. Paul and Barnabas are preaching to the Jews. Now these Jews should have revered God. They should have held in their, in their heart a place for God to worship him, to receive him, to receive the new of whatever he's doing. And, and they rejected it. The new being Jesus, right? And so they rejected Jesus, therefore rejecting God. Paul and Barnabas are still bringing that message. And when they rejected that message, God had them go to the Gentiles and God turned his face toward the Gentiles, which is prophesied as you heard in Isaiah 49, 6. For this is what the Lord has commanded us. I have made you a light for the Gentiles to bring salvation to the ends of the earth. So the Jews rejected, God's chosen people rejected, but the Gentiles rejoiced and received God's message and they, and they received God's gift of eternal life. The gospel is on the move. You know, this this was a movement of the good news of Jesus going across the region, and it wasn't going to be stopped. And if people rejected it, God was going to move his favor and his gift to another group of people. And to the group of people he brought in were non-Jews because the Jews rejected him. So I think, I think that's fascinating, and it was prophesied to happen as well. So when, when the Jews closed their mind and tossed out Paul and Barnabas from the district, all they did was they shook the dust off their shoes. They shook it off. And essentially that's meaning they didn't think about it anymore. They turned their back on that place because of the rejection, because of the stubbornness and the jealousy of those Jews. They were not willing to open their hearts to receive God's word, God's life transform, transforming message of hope and salvation, and to receive the gift, the free gift. These people were unwilling to do it. So Paul and Barnabas are like, fine, fine. I'm out. And they left. They continued to preach the good news and, and made more disciples who followed Jesus. And they were all rejoicing. They, they were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. And then it, it, it continued. The next uh, chapter, Acts 14, it talks about that Paul went to another city um, and it was Iconium. They went right to the heart of Judaism. They went to the synagogue to preach the good news. I know that's that's pretty bold to think. You know, they were rejected in the prior towns. They they were talking to the Jews and, and presenting this to them. And, and those Jews were stubborn. Those Jews were jealous. And they and they were, were trying to uh, just get them out of the, the city. So Paul and Barnabas kind of repeated that same thing. They went to the synagogue and tried to share the gospel message with the people there. 
there's Jews again who were jealous and, and who, who were, were stubborn. And so the Gentiles who were believing in that Iconium synagogue, the, the Jews kind of stirred up some trouble and, and polluted the minds of those Gentiles, spoke lies to them and, help, and tried to, to help them come back onto uh, their side against them. Now, now the Jews and the Gentiles didn't really associate but it's like one of those things where, you know, keep your friends close and, and your enemies closer. That the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So the Jews tried to get the Gentiles on their side to oppose Paul and Barnabas. And the Lord was working through all this. The Lord was working. It says here, so they stayed there a long time and spoke boldly for the Lord, who testified to the message of his grace by enabling them to do signs and wonders. So God was working. It didn't stop. And the people being divided in the city didn't stop the message, didn't stop the work of the Lord because of the boldness. It says here, they stayed there a long time and spoke boldly for the Lord. Paul and Barnabas were bold and, and they were courageous. They didn't cower away. They were bold. And when there was struggle, they kept pushing forward because they knew the message was that important to share. So they even had an attempt made on their lives. Chapter uh, 14, verse 5 in Acts says, When an attempt was made by both the Gentiles and the Jews with their rulers, so now the, the, the Jews who were jealous and stubborn brought in some Gentiles, and they were wanting to mistreat and stone them. So Paul and Barnabas actually found this out ahead of time and fled to different towns, different like, like Lyaconian towns of Lystra and Derby, and to the surrounding countryside, they continued to preach the gospel. It can't be stopped. You know, even, even when these jealous and upset Gentiles joined forces with the Jews, God cannot be stopped. God's message cannot be stopped. That's how powerful, that's how important it is. Let's be bold. Let's be bold like Paul and Barnabas. Let's share the good news of Jesus. Share with them, share with people in our lives, even if they resist, even if they reject. It doesn't matter. Move on to somebody else. If you get rejected, if you experience resistance, move on to somebody else. If that door closes, move on, shake the dust off your feet and move on, but keep preaching the gospel. Keep bringing the message to people. And eventually you're going to get people who are going to hear it and they're going to rejoice and they're going to be filled with the Holy Spirit and their lives are going to be transformed. And this message is so important. Jesus is, is life and his death is resurrection and the new life that is brought to us because of his resurrection, the forgiveness we experience because of the work he did on the cross, his sacrifice. He took our place for the punishment that we deserve for our sin. He took that on himself and then he became victorious. He, he resurrected and now that old life is gone and we can live a new life. That's the message we share with people. Share it with all who will listen. Share it boldly, but keep sharing it. Keep sharing it and people will listen. I've been told that the fire's old And when stars are in light